Here to 639, depending on where and when you shop, Black Friday can fall anywhere from this morning all the way through the end of the weekend. That's right. Kylie Conway sat down with a retail expert to talk about how it's changing and how much we tend to spend. We have uh, the all-knowing senior lecturer of finance at the IU Kelly School of Business. It's always a pleasure to have Todd Robertson with us. You're talking Black Friday. First, let's talk about the scale of it. It's huge, yeah. and the name comes from businesses going into the black, becoming profitable at the very last minute, right? By the way, no pressure there. Th thanks for setting me up on that. But in, in <laughs> it's case, true. In any case, yeah, it's a big deal, and it, it's a big part of the business cycle for retailers, mm -hmm. but it is changing a little bit. If you look at kind of the model anymore is more of a black weekend or a black fortnight, as they say, sure. in a couple weeks. Uh, if you look at 2016, there were about $25 billion in Black Friday of in-store sales, but that was about a 4% decrease mm -hmm. over the prior year. Same day, online sales were almost $7 billion, and that was almost a 20% yeah. increase. So it's not going to take long for those lines to cross, mm -hmm. but it is still a big part of the business. It's huge. The majority yeah. chunk is still in-store shopping, Absolutely. although online's getting bigger. So how much does one shopper typically spend, say, on a Black Friday? Well, they looked at some, some, some uh, experts say probably 250 to 300 would be typical on a okay. Black Friday. And again, the idea there is it's definitely worth it if it, there's something on a Black Friday ad that you want. That's the key. That's the key is I, I never suggest buying something just because it's a good price. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I've bought things that I wasn't in love with. I bought them because they were a good price and I didn't find that I got much yeah. utility out of them. I might need to use this third crock pot some right, point right. in my right. life. These ill-fitting pair of pants, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. A lot of families make it a tradition, though, to yeah. go Black Friday shopping. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to buy anything. Just right. go and be social and in the environment. Well, shopping is not only about buying. Shopping is a social activity. Mm -hmm. So, you know, by all means, go out and enjoy the decorations, enjoy Santa and enjoy all the colors and lights, but there would be deals all month long. But if you do want to check deals, there are some yeah. ways to go to these like aggregate websites yeah. basically to see what are the best options and if you if it's worth your time to go out and shop. Yeah, I strongly recommend again if you you know you're looking for something you might need for Black Friday, the Black Friday, best Black Friday, black bfads.net mm -hmm. are all great sites. But be advised when you look at those that it, most likely you'll still see the same deals over the course of the entire Christmas season. So don't okay. fall into that hole of thinking you've got to do it that day. Right. Yeah. Regardless if you find anything or if you plan on buying anything on Black Friday, I'm assuming you're trying to buy some things for Christmas regardless if it is Black Friday shopping or not. So how do you budget for the holidays? Well, everybody's situation is a little bit different, and it depends on your, your family situation, your, where you're at in your life. But here's kind of the guideline I use. You know, the last thing I want to be thinking about in July is Christmas. Yes. Right? So right. I want to be paying for it then. <laughs> so what I typically do is I look at two to three months of discretionary income. And what I mean by that is you take your take-home pay, mm -hmm. take off your living expenses, your mortgage, your food, that type of stuff. Multiply that number by two or three, mm -hmm. and that's probably a good guideline to go with. So two to three months of discretionary income. Okay, there you go. Yeah. It's just sitting down, budgeting, and yeah. uh, having a number in mind. Start with your budget and then work your way down from the top. Once you get through the budget, then anybody else gets a card or gets your time, which, by the way, they'll appreciate. Well, on your recommend, Todd, I had to yeah. take a peek at bestblackfriday.com, yeah. and the number one Black Friday deal right now is from Best Buy, according to this website, yeah. and it's a 50-inch Sharp TV. Okay. Smart. It's 4K smart TV for $199. That's a pretty good deal, and if that's something you want to give to somebody, you should take advantage mm -hmm. of that. But again, don't buy it just because it's on sale. That's right. Yeah. And if you're interested, if that deal sounds good to you, it goes live at Best Buy at 5 p.m. on Thanksgiving Day, so you got to prepare for that. Yeah. Okay, Kylie, thanks. Many stores are starting their Black Friday savings today. J.C. Penney's is opening their doors the earliest at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Best Buy, Macy's, and Toys R Us are all opening at 5 o'clock tonight. Other stores kicking off Black Friday today include Walmart, Target, Sears, also Meyer has an ad out already. As far as shopping malls go, Castleton Square, Greenwood Park, Clay Terrace malls will all be open from 6 p.m. until 1 a.m. You know, he said it's 
you got to buy things that you need, right? And maybe right. take advantage of, of the sale. Our TV broke several years ago on Thanksgiving. It was oh. actually during the Lions game. That's either really good or really bad well, timing. Well, I was very upset, but I was able to get on Best Buy online uh -huh. and get a Black Friday deal. And look like a superhero. And pick it up the next day. <laughs> yeah, it was great.